As many of you know, I'm Nicole Bernard, and I did my senior project on the importance of early childhood education. So my main message was that every child should attend an early education facility at some point in their early years. So ever since I was little, I pretty much knew that I wanted to work with kids when I grew up. Um, I went to the daycare that I work at now when I was younger, and my mom has always worked there, so she's had a huge impact on what I wanted to do in my future. And over the years, it has become more important to me and more visible to me of the importance of early education facilities because I've been able to see the skills and the friendships that these children develop in order to prepare them for their future. So from an article called, What is so important about early childhood education? Children taught at an early age usually benefit in the following ways. Improved social skills, less or no need for special education instruction during subsequent school years, better grades, and enhanced attention spans. These programs have a huge impact of child's education in the future through developing their social skills, lessening ability gaps, and by shaping their brains. So at the facility I work at, I have been able to see the connections that children make with the people around them throughout their years. And at one point, a couple years ago, we had two sisters. One was five and one was three. The five-year-old was pretty shy when she started. Uh, the three-year-old really wasn't. She was pretty easygoing and always ready to play with the other ch children. And as the five-year-old got into the routine of the facility, she became more ready to play with the ch kids and she wanted to do the activities that we did. And so basically our facility helped her to be ready to interact with people as she got older. So from the National Association of the Education of the Young, several decades of research clearly demonstrate that high quality, developmentally appropriate early childhood programs produce short and long-term positive effects on children's cognitive and social development. So these facilities help shape their social skills, causing them to have a better future. Over the years, we've had several different children from different home environments come to the daycare. And a little while ago, we had a girl with autism come to our facility. And her parents pretty much chose to ignore the situation, which was their choice. And so she, when she started, she wouldn't really talk or eat or interact with the other children. And after a while, as we started working with her, she became more able to speak in full sentences, and she would eat around the other kids and be able to interact with all the kids. And her parents eventually came to us about how she wasn't going to sleep at night until like really late, so she was asking us if we had her nap during our nap time. And she never really would, she'd pretty much just lay there. And so our facility informed her parents that some children with forms of autism often need a weighted blanket to sleep at night, like just to get them to fall asleep. And so we informed them that that's probably the issue they were having. So that problem got solved. So from Eric Ed, evidence from longitudinal studies of interventions like Perry Preschool Project and the Abercidian Project 1 that suggest early childhood education has the potential to reduce ability gaps. So facilities like this help manage ability gaps and they help these children in the future for when they need to manage their ability gaps. These facilities also help shape children's brains by teaching them wrong from right, helping them with their writing and reading skills, learning their ABCs, one, two, threes, and being able to recognize and write their names. Uh, one of the games we play with the children at the daycare is we have their names on little cards and we set them on a chair and it's kind of like musical chairs, but instead they have to go find their names. So that's a good way for them to recognize their names. So from the importance of early childhood development, the early years of human development establish the basic architecture and function of the brain. So these facilities literally help shape children's brains. For my community connection, I went to a daycare and did several activities with the children and games and pretty much watched how they learned and interacted with the kids around them and, and watched how the teachers interacted with the students and how they 
get the kids to understand things in different ways. So once again, my main message was that every child should attend an early education facility at some point in their early years. Um, I would like to thank Ms. Knowles for being my mentor, even though I wasn't exactly <laughs> very... It was <harder>. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'd also like to thank Rockwood Acres, which is the daycare that I work at for pretty much making me decide what I want to do in my future. Um, I'd like to thank my mom because she's been a really big influence on me throughout the years. And I would like to thank Ms. Aubin because she's pretty much helped us be organized throughout all of this. And I don't think we would have been able to get through it without her. <laughs> Questions? 